so we're getting into what the third or fourth uh, round of winners eighths. I don't know, it's but me. but uh, the important thing is that it's winners eighths. So yeah, uh, we should introduce ourselves since we got a new commentator. I'm champion and Bloom, and I don't think I introduced myself last time. I'm Rybred. So we've got uh, Brawler Claws versus Drew. So. Drew actually coming back to the uh, High Point Ultimate Tournament series, which I really like. It's always nice to have yeah. either new or returning people, just to have as many people as possible to come together and hang out. Yeah, I actually commentated uh, DRW's last match, <laughs> so there was that. I think, was that with me, or I'm not sure. No, I mean like in this tournament. <laughs> oh, okay, got it. So you were at the, uh, you were at the pools slash losers setup. Yep. Got it. So yeah, um, we've got a relatively even match right now, yep. considering percent deficit's not that bad. Yeah. Uh, Doc being a very uh, underrepresented easily... character, so it he can easily close that percentage down, yeah. and he just did. So it's just a case of uh, matchup inexperience, which can really uh, get Drew some uh, some points here. Ooh, and then so, nice place, well placed pill, pill prevents some uh, offstage punching. I don't think down air has any kill confirms off of it, but it's just a very good spiking and overall utility move. Oh, okay, that was another, a really good... Another spike attempt. That was either just a screw up from Brawler or just really, really good placement from Drew in order to not get hit by that edge guard. Still took, so, still took a yeah, if you parry multi-hit moves, it usually isn't going to go well for you just yep. because you're going to get hit by the uh, the other hits of it. So that's something you got to keep in mind. you got to either just take the hit or you got to be actually Daigo and parry every single one of them. So this is the power of I'm, I'm sure I'm going to be making a couple of Daigo jokes here and there in this tournament, so get used to it, I guess. I, 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 I still even have no idea who that is or what that is. So, uh, I mean, Dr. Mario, definitely one of those characters with one of the weaker recoveries in the game, but you definitely can mix up your opponent because you have about three mix-up options that he you can use. He makes up for his lack of recovery with sheer power. Yeah, that too. You have, I mean, downbeat, not only is it a good tool in his recovery, but it's also just a good uh, combo slash killing move. I know you can do down throw into downbeat, which nets you a ton of damage, and you can just use downbeat as a killing move. I know there was a custom in Smash 4 called Soaring Tornado, which was absolutely broken. Um, so I would I would call a Dr. Lot of Mario's- customs in Smash 4 were broken. Yeah, I would call Dr. Mario's ultimate downbeat a slightly nerfed Soaring Tornado. Oh, Which really? is definitely not a bad thing to say, considering your moves should not be as good as custom moves in yeah. this game anyway. Because custom Palutena moves were she actually changed. got some of her custom moves. She got one. Well, actually, no, maybe two, because her counter is uh, both a counter and reflect. Yep. But I, I love the, uh, I love the uprising love from Claws yep. because I. I think uh, Uprising is one of the most underrated games on the 3DS. It was super good. I would consider it top five. My favorite being Link Between Worlds, but this is definitely up there. I would love to finish it, but I just never found the time to. Oh, okay. Oh. The, the cape coming out from Drew. Uh, I don't know if cape or down B would have been a better option, but either way, we're going to get on to game two, and we're going to see how that goes. So good luck to both players coming up in game two. So, game two, we're going into it. Um, uh, Brawler's actually switching over to not Brawler because he's a fraud. He's playing Sword Fighter. How dare you? <laughs> you are the chosen one! Brawler, you're a fraud. You're playing Sword Fighter. No, it, this is a joke, obviously, because he plays all of the Miis, but I just like to make the joke that whenever he isn't playing, uh, whenever he's not playing Brawler, it doesn't go with his name. Yeah. But, um... So Brawler is actually taking the precaution of using a 1-1-1-1 one, 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 one moveset because although all me moves are allowed in our High Point Ultimate series... Oh, really? Uh, yes, all me moves are allowed because they're not as crazy as they were in Smash 4. But I think he is uh, doing oh, shoot, this... I have in... someone to apologize to. <laughs> I think uh, he's doing this in preparation just in case me moves do get banned later in Ultimate's history. But I think, uh, personally, I think that all me moves are going to stay legal just because they are no longer custom moves and they are just me moves now. I mean, I've just gotten used to the 1-1-1 movesets anyways. I can't play 1-1-1-1. One, 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 one. I play this, I play this, like, horrible, not horrible, but I play this, like, super toxic, uh, sword fighter with, uh, with Chakram, Tornado, and Hero Spin. 
and I just call it Quam because it's like a messed up Crom me. Yeah, I, I did that too, except I made it more, 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 more a theme of like, Fire Emblem kitten moves. So basically they're all as, yeah, as close to the actual Fire Emblem attack. So counter then? Yeah, there's counter. I have there's a reflector the, on mine, just because I, I don't know if... There was the one up B, there was the... Uh, the spinning slash because I wanted to make it a better crom. Okay. And then there was. Well, I don't know if you can be a better crom on, honestly, but oh, okay. F smash is I not mean, gonna take it. Good di from Frost. Actual horizontal recovery. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Because if you gave him like Ike side B. Yeah. So anyway, we're gonna be getting on a bunch oh. of tangents. That's not gonna kill, but it was still a bunch of good damage for Claws. Tornado attack! Tornado attack! Yeah, that's basically uh that's a sword fighter in a nutshell. You just kinda use a you use tornado into up air a lot, or tornado into up B if you have hero spin. Yep. So that's that's basically the sword fighter gameplay. So we'll see how the rest of this set goes uh, and plays out because right now Drew's in the lead. Oh, oh and okay. he tried to cape the tornado. He tried to cape the tornado. He I didn't know if. He missed. Well, what I was worried about is that I thought by using the cape he was actually going to end up uh, going too low and not being able to recover with the upbeat. That's also a concern. But Brawler took out Drew's second stock, which honestly I don't know. Okay, well, I was going to oh. say I don't know if that's too much of a problem yes. because he can easily take the stock back. But now that he's at 52%, he's definitely going to need to play a little bit more cautiously. So maybe if he can get something like a back air or any smash attack or maybe first hit a puppy, yep. but I know that's really risky. Uh, there we go. Back air, there speaking it is. back air, we got it. Can DRW bring this back? Oh, uh, uh, it, I don't he's got to use down B, I think. Yeah, oh. there we go. I knew he was going to have to use down B. It's just the question of when he did. So... He definitely has the potential to bring this back because I know that Dr. Mario's got some stuff that some people don't know about. I don't want to say, obviously, because yeah. I'm not trying to give any coaching to anyone, yep. but I know Dr. Mario can definitely jank out people that don't have the matchup experience. Yep. So, okay. Good use of the pill in order to cover his recovery, but the last hit of up smash is going to take it. That was really close, so I hope that Drew has the best of luck and loses bracket. 